morning message, morning message, Book of Tov, to the 12 tribes of the house of Yashrael that scattered to the four corners of the earth. Just got a quick morning message. Um, since we're in there, we're coming upon uh, the newly federal created holiday of Juneteenth. Um, you know, Abba, the Father, has been revealing to me the spirit of Juneteenth. You know, and the spirit of Juneteenth. Um, the history of Juneteenth, you know, um, is that, you know, Abraham Lincoln, quote unquote, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed in January of. 1863 and you had slaves still in um, servitude on a plantation in Texas and they didn't know that the law had changed in their favor was granting them some sort of liberty um, so the Union soldiers about 2000 like is reported Arrived on a plantation in in, in Texas, um, informing informing the slaves that they're actually freed, and at that moment they celebrated, as we 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 all were would if we were in that predicament. Um, but for over two years, they didn't realize technically they were free. So in the spirit of the celebration of the Juneteenth, I want to highlight the spirit of the children of Yashrael that's still in the land of our captivity. There's a prophecy in Genesis 15 where Yahuwah tells Abram that his, his children, his seed, will be in a land, um, a foreign land, and oppressed for 400 years. But after that, he would judge the nations and bring them out with great substance. So 400 years, we all know, 2019 was marked by Congress. It was marked, even Ghana, um, a nation in Africa, launched a year of return. History points that the first slaves that arrived in America was 1619, so 400 years later, you got 2019. Um, so technically, our sentence have been served. And now it's going on over three years that most of us, a lot of us, 30, 40 million of us are still in the land of our captivity. I want that to sit on you real quick. And it's going to be a quick, short video. Please hit the like button, hit the thumbs up, share it, dislike it, comment, speak to me, and I'll speak back. Because this is very important to understand in the spirit. We are like our forefathers that was in Texas, still on a plantation serving master, not knowing a law had passed that freed us two, three years prior. We don't understand prophecy has set our deliverance in motion. It gave us a time frame. It gave us a sentence. And by choice, most of us still stay in this land. By choice. I'm talking to all the camps, all the camp leaders, all the great bishops and mores. And by choice, We're still here by choice. There's nothing stopping us collectively or individually to leave this land, to leave Master's Plantation because our sentence has been served. 400 years is up. So the real Juneteenth is really the Jubilee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There we go. We, we going somewhere. The real Juneteenth is really the year of Jubilee. It's when everything in the land, man or animals, are set free from servitude. So the real Juneteenth and the spirit 
is our jubilee. And the father is saying the Ruach has come to his, to his servants, the prophets, in his last hour to let Yashriel know you're free. You ain't got to wait for the, the U.S. military to say you're free. You ain't got to wait for the president to say you're free. You ain't got to wait for the vice president to say you're free. Because they're not. <laughs> what the Ruach says. Yahusha said. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. There you go. Once again, the spirit is speaking. The Ruach is speaking. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. So I, I want you to sit on that. If you're following Yahusha, and that is your, 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 your master, and he's in your heart, Yahuwah has written the law and statutes and commandments on your heart for you to do them according to you walking in the spirit. That means you're free. Why are we, because I say we, because I'm, I'm still here currently. Why are we still in the land of our captivity? Why are we still on master plantation? Why are we still working for master? Why? Ask yourself that question. Share this video. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm t it's the Ruach that speaks through me. Share this video with your leaders, your captains, your, your archbishops, your mores. Just share it. Have this discussion, conversation. And say, Saint Yah Israel, aka King Hafi, aka Quante, is asking the question, why are we still in the land of our captivity? What are we waiting for? Who are we waiting for? You know, are we are we still carrying the doctrine of rapture? And we're waiting for this white Jesus to show up on a white cloud and, and take us away? Really? Actually, let's have a let's have a general conversation. What are we waiting for? Why are we still in the land of our captivity? When do we leave? How do we leave? What is keeping us? If the prophecy said 400 years, then the 400 years has been marked by the nations. And now it's going three years past the 400 years. Why are we still in the land of our captivity? It goes back to the old eight question. It's what it's, Kanye said it. it was, say, it was slavery a choice? Is slavery a choice? Is serving master at this point a time a choice? Or is it fear? Are we afraid to leave the master house? Because we see the master house burning. And I know a bunch of house um, house Negroes is going to try to put the fire out. They're trying to put the fire out. But we're in the field. We see it burning. What we do? We flee. It's time to go. We, we come up with a escape plan. Yo, it's time to go. The house is burning. So master is going to be distracted with putting the fire out to try to save his house. Let us flee because he ain't thinking about us in the field. He ain't thinking about the field, the field Negroes. So yeah, let's talk about it. Call me, hit me up. 315-395-2318, my direct line. Hit me up. Let's, let's conversate. Let's put this on Zoom meeting. Let, 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 let us come. Let me... Let me assemble the elders of Yashriel in the land of captivity. You know, I, I don't really like using these platforms, but the platform, you know, it can reach a lot of people. People can hear this message and understand that it's the Ruach that speaketh, and it's time to gather, it's time to assemble. So let me lead the way, um, and let us assemble the 70, the, the 70 elders of Yashriel, wherever that might be. You know what I'm saying, what, what I have to, what, who I have to be? I gotta call out names to the brothers and, and sisters that I, I I actually listen to and I watch and and I learn a lot from. You know what I'm saying, Moray Dwayne, Hebrew Connect TV, like what's up? You know, Moray Yahusha and and, and Moray uh, Moshe from Hebrew Nation Building. What's up, brethren? Akis. You know, I got more um, Yashi Yahoo out there in California. What's up? I got I got Minister um, Davis, the Davis Ministry. That brother be preaching fire. Davis Ministry. 
YouTube his videos. David Ministry, man of the spirit. And he don't need a crowd. What's up? You know, all, all of the Hebrew camps, those that's on the corner. You know, those, you know, HOI, House of Israel, all the camps. What's that? GOCC. What's up, Bishop Bishop Nathaniel? What yo, what are we just gonna talk? Are we gonna be talking for the next hundred years? Are we what what are we what are we waiting for? I say this in the spirit. It's like when Moses stopped the children of Yashriel when they got to the to the Red Sea and told the children of Israel, watch. Watch Yahuwah's strength and his deliverance. And Yahuwah said, Why did you tell the children to stop? When you move, you will see the power of my might. So what are we waiting for? You know, all the sisters that's out there preaching the, 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 the word or giving revelation and message on YouTube. The Okotis. What's up? You know, I'm talking to the people. It seems like nobody talking back. Everybody wants to sit there and make these YouTube videos and get and get views and likes and sit and sit and wait and wait and the house is burning the house is burning down and you guys are just talking talk 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 the father is saying now walk 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 faith without works is dead all that talk the master the enemy they don't care about all that it's action it's moving forward in your faith. And that now let's activate that which we preach. Let's activate that now which we preach. We all know the truth. The truth is being revealed in this hour for such a great exodus. The truth is not revealed for us to be speaking over their platforms, standing on their corners for years and years to years to come. It comes a point in time where we look at the, we, we see what's going on in the nations and we smell blood and then we execute that which Yahuwah has put inside us because the kingdom is within. I'm not saying go here because the kingdom is, no, the kingdom is within. We are Yashria. We are Jerusalem. We are Mount Zion. We must cross back over the seas and Gather us in the land that we were taken from, and then when Yahusha returns, he will triumph over the Lord. He will show us into the city, the great city. He will lead us back because things have changed. Maps didn't, they didn't did a lot. So who we who really 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 knows? You know what I'm saying? But we that's another topic for discussion. But let us get back into the land of Canaan, and land of Canaan is just not that strip in Levant. But he gave us the whole land of Canaan. Canaan had a lot of land, which is in the land of Ham, which is Africa. So let us get back over. How do we get back over? I can hear the people. King Hafi, St. Israel. How do we get back over? We come together. We assemble the elders. We gather our resources and we go. Boat, plane, however, we go. We, 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 we buy a cruise ship. We get up out of here. We go. Where do we go? We're gonna go wherever wherever Yahuwah ships the ship. You had to, gotta have faith. So yeah, I just want to encourage y'all as we in the season, the celebration of Juneteenth. I just want to point out that we are like our forefathers that's still in the, the, the land of our captivity. We're still on a plantation, and, and this is the year of our Jubilee, and we gotta have that in our hearts and our souls and our minds, and we gotta move forward, y'all. It's it's too much talking. It's too much. Everybody's, you know, pointing today, you know, trying to build an online platform and point this out and do this and do that. Man, it's like almost like it's vanity. Bro. I see why they gave these. It's almost vanity because you think it's a it's a it's an illusion of doing God's work. Literally, it's an illusion of doing God's work. And when you read the scripture, remind you, they didn't have this type of technology. They wasn't utilized. The, 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 the beginning, the birth of the assembly, when the, the Ruach came, they wasn't up. They was in the fields. Look at the journeys Shahu took. He was in different nations. He was going to he was going to preach the to all the scattered tribes of Yashriel. 
So that we got to take that in, in consideration in the mind frame. We got to we got to be action that we can't be behind these screens and cameras forever. bro. Believing that we doing y'all's work. It comes a point in time where the father say no. No, my people, because it, it, it has made you. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It has made you complacent. You're comfortable with getting up. You ain't even got to leave your house. And you're 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 preaching a word, but you're you're confined to your 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 four walls of your home in captivity in Babylon, and you're actually believing that you're doing Yah's work, that you're doing the will of God. Point of time, everything is about timing. Yah permit he 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 allowed it due to ignorance. He 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 utilized the enemy tools to spread the knowledge, as Daniel said. In the last hour, in the last days, knowledge will increase. People will go to and fro. So. Knowledge is increased, but people is not going to and far. The movement has stopped because the knowledge has increased, but people have stopped moving the way the prophecy is supposed to be enfolded. And, and, and we've been docile and we've been, we've been comfortable in Babylon because now we can just talk on the screen. We, we can do what I'm doing right now and get off and feel accomplished. While you're still in the land of captivity, you're still going to work for master. You know what I'm saying? You're still eating these fake foods. You're still wearing, you know, clothes mixed with seat, um, different seated garments and all. We're still in it. We still under the hands of the oppressor. After I hit in on this video, I, the reality is I'm still in the land of captivity. Even though I'm preaching the word of, 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 of the father. But I know this is not it. <laughs> I want to be able to touch you. I want to be able to feel you. I want to be able to and I want to be able to dine with you, brothers. Akis, a You know what I'm saying? I want to be in the house of the assembly. When it said the, the, the Ruach fell and about 3,000 was added to the to the assembly. You know what I'm saying? Outside of master's um um domain. Outside of the hand that rules over us. Outside of that, because we know this is not our land. Our forefathers, y'all showed me. Our forefathers came on slave ships. Deuteronomy 28. We all know that. So I just want to encourage you, brothers. Share this video like this. Because the time is running out. And the father is telling me, speak, that it's time for us to go. I'm not speaking on my own. I don't have no authority. You know, I know you guys don't know me. But you know the father. And the father said his sheep, Yahushua said his sheep will hear his voice. I come in the name of Yahusha. I have no authority. I have no word outside of that which was given to me. This was given to me to tell you and all the house of Israel that scattered to the four corners of the earth, starting with America, all the way down to Brazil, all the way back to UK. Leave the land of your captivity and make it to the land of promise. And if you don't have the means to do so, that's where the rest of the body come in. That's why the assembly of the elders is important because we can pull together the purse. We can pull together the bag. We don't have to go to master because we know um, um, they will. All the gold and silver will be coming to us, but we ain't got to wait for them. The father has given us provision. We have what we need now to do the work of Elohim. That's, I'm going to leave you all with that. Hallelujah. Praise Elohim for this message. I thank him for this. Y'all really don't understand, bro, that Yah has kept me alive for this moment right here. So I can deliver this message to the house of his, the children whom he loved. And I show, look at this. I got literally bullets in my neck, bullets in my back. Like, literally, I don't, I don't supposed to be here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't supposed to be here. And I always ask y'all, why did you keep me alive? And now I know for this moment right here, because it was a word, a seed planted in me that must bear fruit. It's impossible for him to lie. His word don't come back void. So I'm here, son, to you, those that especially in Babylon, America, to say, get out. Get together. Get out. How y'all want to do this? We could pick a city. We could pick a date. We could pick a time. We can assemble all the great mores that I know Y'all speak through you. I learn a lot. I listen. I watch. But now everybody got his purpose. Everybody's not Lebr LeBron James on the court. Everybody's not Steph Curry on the court. 
but it takes a team to win. Everybody got a position. My position is to gather and assemble the house of Yashrael. So let's gather. Call me, 315-395-2318. All you mores, all those that claim to be somebody in, 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 in Yahuwah, those that claim to be somebody, call me. Let's assemble the, the elders, and that might be you, of the house of Yashrael, so we can get the people out. Hallelujah. I look forward to hearing from y'all. Be blessed.